school for data communications and network one class today. My name is Usnatan Tulavest. I will talk, uh, continue my talk on the digital data to digital signal encoding. Okay, from last clip. Another name of this is called live coding. Okay, in case you see it someplace else. Like coding. Ah, okay. So we talk about the NRCI, NRCL, and the bipolar MI already. Today we'll talk about the biphase. Okay. There are two types of biphase. One is called Manchester, another is called differential Manchester. Both of them have mid-bit transition, which means that there is a transition in the middle of every bit. Okay. For Manchester, this mid-bit transition is for clocking mechanism or like clocking signal okay for synchronization okay and also the data interpretation interpretation okay like what is the meaning of this bit whether it's a zero or it's a one okay but for the differential manchester the mid bit transition will be for clocking only okay the application of manchester is the I2P802.3 standard, this is the Ethernet LAN. And we will talk about Ethernet, okay? Later, much, much later in the topic of LAN, local area network. Okay, anyway, uh, this can be used with coaxial cable and twisted pair, and it uses a technique of CSMACD, and it's used bus topology. Uh, let me tell you a little bit. CSMA, just tell you the name, okay? But we will talk about this in detail uh, when the time has come in land topic, okay? Carry sense multiple access, access with collision detection, okay? So this is the technique uh, that we use in Ethernet land. Ah. Now, um, differential Manchester is a different a differential encoding, which means that it has to detect, okay, whether there is an inversion at the beginning of every bit or not. You see an example um, in a little bit, okay. Application is used in I two P eight hundred two point three eight hundred two point five. Sorry, token ring standard. Um, but nowadays, okay, people use Ethernet LAN more, much more than the token ring LAN. Okay, so I will focus on the Ethernet LAN. Um, let's look at an examples, okay? To compare both of them. Manchester, okay? We have zero is high to low. I tell my student this is high low. High low is like, you know, um, gambling. So if you play high low is zero because you lose everything. So high low is zero and low high is one, okay? Now you look at this, this is high to low, so it's zero. Low to high is one, high to low is zero, something like this. So it's just look at the pattern and match, okay? Interpret what is the 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 data at that um, bit, okay? And you see that there is a transition in F at every bit in the middle, okay? So you never lost synchronization. Um, for the differential Manchester, if you have no inversion at the beginning of the bit, okay, the next bit will be one. So no inversion, right? So it's, it's high and then high. So no inversion, no change of values here. Next bit is one. There's a change of value from low to high. Then next bit is zero, okay? Inversion, next bit is zero. Low to high, next bit is zero. No inversion, next bit is one. No inversion, next bit is one. So for this case, you have to know the beginning, okay? For the first bit, you know, to interpret, you have to know what is before. So before is like high here from this color here. So there is an inversion here. So this is um, zero, okay? You see that this is the same as what I read here. Now, uh, is, there's also transition at the mi in the middle of every bit, okay? Now let's look at the bandwidth, okay? You can see that it changed a lot, right? So in every bit, there is a transition um, inside, okay? So the bandwidth is, is higher frequency 
than the uh, bipolar MI. Okay, that is that there is no change in the middle of the bit. So the bandwidth is higher. This is approximately one point six unit. Okay, in normalized frequency. Um. So this use more bandwidth. Okay, than the MI. MI use about one here. Okay, now I will talk about this in a little bit more when we have the graph for the comparison. Okay in a little bit yeah, in next slide okay now let's look at the advantages and disadvantage of, of biphase okay what is the advantages of biphase over other encoding techniques okay it is a self-clocking code okay so you never lose the um, clocking um, signal okay so you you have a very good synchronization you you never have synchronization problem so this is the main uh, advantage okay uh, there is no DC component because you remember that the bandwidth is like this, so spectrum is like this, so no DC here. There's error detection because um, if it's high to low, okay, then what is the noise has to be? The noise has to be something like this. Uh, you know, noise has to be something like this to make it low to high, okay, to, to make it wrong. Okay, but usually noise is not like that. Okay, you see, no, usually noise noise would be like this. It will not be like exactly at the middle of the bit and change the value, something like that. Okay, so usually you can detect if there is uh there is noise. Okay, sometimes you have if there's a lot of noise. Okay, sometimes you have like lost the transition in the middle of the bit, so you know something is wrong. Okay, so you can detect the error there. So this is like built-in error detection. Okay, what is the disadvantage? Okay, it's use more bandwidth than the NRC because the baud rate is like maximum baud rate is twice that of NRC. Why is that? Because okay, in one in one bit here. Uh, in one bit, if, if I use Manchester, in one bit here you have like positive pulse and negative pulse, right? But for the and I see you have only for one bit you have only a uh, positive pulse. So this one change faster, okay? The biphase here change faster than the NRC, okay? So it have more bandwidth. And it's require high signal rate, okay? Because it have to change keep changing, okay? Instead of compared to the data rate, instead of uh, one positive pulse mean one bit. One negative pulse mean one bit. You have to use both positive and negative pulse to mean one bit. Okay, so it's like it's not very efficient in terms of signaling rate. Okay, so it's not de desirable for long distance application because you have to send a uh, very fast uh, signal rate. Okay, so you don't want to send for for a long time for you know for long distance. Um, so we will talk about scrambling techniques after this. Okay, scrambling techniques is better than by phase uh, for long distance communications because uh, it is based on bipolar MI and is is um, fixing the synchronization problem. Okay, so you will not need uh, high signaling rate, right? Like the by phase. Okay, so we'll talk about this in a little bit. Now let's look at the the picture that I told you that I will compare. Okay, the spectral density of different uh, encoding scheme. Now, uh, Manchester and differential Manchester, okay, about 1.6 uh, unit, okay, in terms of normalized frequency. So it's kind of the, the highest, use the highest uh, bandwidth, okay. The uh, NRCI and NRCL, they have DC component. It has the main lobe up to about 1. It has the side lobe. Uh, I mean, more than the Manchester, but the silo is not a lot. Okay, so so both of them are not good actually, for uh, in terms of bandwidth. Okay, and I see it's probably better in terms of bandwidth, but it have DC component. Now let's look at MI and pseudo ternary. This one is about one one. Okay, the about one unit. Okay. Um. And it has no DC component, okay? And the uh, spectrum is concentrated in the middle, okay? So it's good. The BACH and HGB3, is the, they are the scrambling techniques that we will talk about, okay? 
both of them have similar spectrum as the MIN and pseudotonally and even better actually because it's the bandwidth is concentrated okay in the middle here so it's good um if you come back and see the criteria that I talk about it first okay that we don't want the high frequency component we don't want DC component something like that okay now we will talk about the scrambling techniques okay I told you before based on Bavlai MI there are two types BSH and HB, HDB3 okay there's no DC component from the spectrum there's no sequence of zeros level line signal because if you have a zeros okay a zeros okay you have to change okay for for bsch if you have four zeros you have to change for hdb3 so bsch you never have a zeros you have at most uh seven zeros for hdb3 you have at most three zeros in a row i mean so so there is no um, like zero for a long time okay so you will not lose synchronization okay no reduction in data rate which means that you send a uh, pulse and um, one pulse you can interpret as one bit okay it's not like by phase that one pulse that you need two pulse in to interpret one bit okay that that so you lose the data rate in terms of uh, the same the same signal rate that you send okay you have uh, lower data rate for by phase okay compared to the uh, the scrambling techniques and the AMI okay uh, they have um, error detection capability because you have some uh, fixed pattern okay you have some rules so if you break the rules you know that there's some errors so for AMI you have uh, you have to change polarity right uh, plus minus plus minus like this so if 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 it's AMI and you have plus plus uh, in a row then something is wrong okay so BSH you have some violation pattern you have pattern that you have to uh, change okay the C all I mean S0 you have to change into this pattern okay um, but they have some specific uh, row okay to change so if it's not exactly like this then uh, you know that something is wrong so you can detect the error okay we will talk about this in a little bit more but uh, let me tell you V is for violation and B is for bipolar violation means that sorry B is for bipolar violation means that if it's a minus pulse now it's going to be minus because because if you follow the rule it has to be plus right so violation means that it's going to be the same values as the previous pulse okay that that is not zero I mean that have the polarity and bipolar means that if it's negative this one is going to be positive okay something like that we'll look about this in a little bit more in the next uh next slide when we get into the BACS okay and then you can come back after we, I finished you can come back look at this again and see uh, if it follow uh, what you understand okay uh, so this one is suitable for high data rate transmission so this is going to be uh, examples another examples now let's look at the detail on the uh, BACH okay this one you substitute a zeros okay or replace a zeros by string of two code violations which is zero 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 violation bipolar zero violation bipolar okay eight bit so eight bit of zeros here okay now there are it's actually this pattern okay but there are two cases in terms of a uh, pulse um, signal because the previous pulse can be positive or negative if the previous pulse is positive previous pulse is positive okay then zero 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 like this violation will be it have to be the same right so it's positive bipolar means that you follow the rule so it have to flip the polarity so positive become negative here zero violation has to be the same okay bipolar has to be positive okay you can remember this pattern but I prefer to remember this because it's always work okay so if I know this it's always work um for both cases okay if the previous power is negative zero 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 violation violation can be negative right 
Then bipolar can be positive. Zero violation gonna be positive, and then bipolar gonna be negative like this. Okay, so the same pattern, but because different previous pulse level, they are different. Uh, next is HGB three. Okay, high density bipolar three zeros. Uh, in this case, you replace four zeros, okay, by a string of one code violations. This one is a little bit more difficult because um, we want the average values to be still zero volt, okay, to have no distinct component. Let's go back a little bit. Okay, this one you have, you have uh, eight zeros. This one in the MI is, they have no distinct component, right? Its average is zero volt. Uh, for B BSCH, you have two positive and two negative, so zero volt average, okay? So no DC component from this. Two positive, two negative, again, all cancel out. But for HGB3, because you have only four bits, okay? Sometimes you cannot cancel out inside of, of the four bits, so you have to kind of use two set of folds, okay? To average out, I, I will show you, uh, okay? You have even and odd here. Even means that means the number of one uh, since the last substitution is even an even number. Okay, an odd means that the number of one since the last substitution is an odd number. Okay. What does this mean? Suppose we start here, we start here, okay? So we count number one, one, two, okay? We have two, which is an even number, okay? So we have two, two of bit ones, an even number. Then we will use bipolar zero, zero violation in this case, okay? Bipolar zero, zero violation. So this is negative, right? Before this, so bipolar is positive. Zero zero violation is positive. Okay, in this case, you will see that if you remember bipolar zero zero violation is much easier than remember the pattern. Okay, because because you will have, uh, I mean the in the previous pulse can be this one can be positive or negative, and you will have different pattern. Okay, please think about that. If this one is positive, what will happen? Okay, to the bipolar zero zero violation. Um. Okay, then after you substitute these four zeros here, now you count, okay, this is the last substitution here, right? So there is only one of the bit one, so it's an odd number. An odd number you use, okay, zero, zero, zero violation, okay, zero, zero, zero violation. So this one you, you do zero, zero, zero violation. What is the violation B? It has to be the same as the previous pulse. What is the previous pulse? Previous pulse is minus, okay, because this is the MI, okay? This this is the normal MI, so if positive, it has to be negative here. Um, so then this one going to be negative, okay, like this. Okay, how about this? You have another four zeros coming up, okay? There is no one in between here, no ones, no bit one, okay? So this is considered an even number. Even number used bipolar zero zero violation. So bipolar is plus zero zero and then plus again. Okay. Um, you can see that there is there are other cases that we haven't seen. Okay. If it's uh even and start with I mean previous is plus or if it's an odd and then previous is plus. Okay. What will happen? Okay. So please think about that. Uh, by yourself, uh, if you understand this, okay, you should be able to do it, okay. If you still have questions, we'll talk about this in class. And this is the reference. Okay, thank you very much.